positive when making plays on balls. So I think it does come down a bit to high to crack. 자 로드컵 살차 사 경기인가 이제 아오 경기. ああ、サギョンギ、シナイ、サギョンギかオギョンギか。サギョンギじゃん。シナイでフラティ。うん。シナイでフラティ。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
Again, it's the siege composition for C9. No surprise, elimination of the Black Shield is gonna be key as well. Yeah, I love the Morgana pick against Yasuo compositions, especially now that Alistair's W has slowed down a little bit and it becomes relatively predictable. Clutch Black Shield can change the entire scope of a team fight because Alistair will very often flash in for the combo. Yasuo expects it to hit. Black Shield could even be used against Gragas Barrel. Body time, so much outplay potential there on Lemonation. And I wonder how much magic damage Fnatic has. Can they break the Black Shield or are they you know, forced to succumb to the fact that nothing's gonna happen? Now, from what I've seen of Lemonation's games though, his actual reflexes on Black Shield slow. have been a bit slow. I, I think we're gonna see multiple. We'll see some he'll hit, we'll see something he's going to miss this Sure, game. sure. I wonder if Fnatic, they have an AP top lane in mind against this Darius. Rise could be potential, but it's just way too slow, really, unless they move Yasuo top and take an AP mid lane with Wave Clear. We, saw the, doing. we saw the Heimerdinger hover. Wow. But we'll get back to the hover later. Oriana locked in. So one thing about this Yasuo into Darius matchup is one of the things we always look at is and then the Huni got in just had it in game. It's very easy then for Yasuo to dance around minions and get close to him and get these small fights where the damage from the Q is, of course, reduced from the Darius. But Yasuo has to be so, so careful he doesn't get caught out. In top lane matchups, you always have to rate the 2v2 as well. So that can snowball it forward if Rain Over King successfully gank for Huni. Then he can start maybe snowballing and playing around with that mobility. If at any point though, Huni dies and he falls behind against Darius, he's gonna have an incredibly hard time in that lane. But again, they're looking at balls and they're saying, you have to be able to get the top 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 so many ways of chaining that CC and getting the knockup to the backline and enough hard engage from Fnatic to say once you start grouping on the side of C9, we are going to engage. It's not like HQ at no way of starting fights or the mountain on a Rengar trying to engage. That's not going to happen here for Fnatic. This is going to be really interesting. Oh, but the last World Cup is much more interesting this game. Join into the conversation, hop on Twitter and tell us who will rise by the end of the hashtag C9 win or hashtag C9 win. Who will rise? 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 Who will Who's going to be in first place at the end of the day in this group? It's going to be either Cloud9 or Cloud9 and Fnatic together. Otherwise, FNC falls to that tie for second at one and two in the record here. We move in with Fnatic actually camping a brush. You see this so often when they're expecting the other team to invade in on topside jungle to get all these early wards for the lane swap, you just hide. Raynum might be baiting and trying to show, yep. hey, look guys, we're doing just a standard five-man cover all the way down. I'm all here, I'm all alone. But this play, we've seen it multiple times already, to, to the point where if you see the jungle, you can expect that stack almost. So, that seems like a very standard play. I haven't seen the blue side mirror this at all. And I think it's not 3 minutes, it's 2 minutes. One two back and they're Again, they only see Reno. They think they're going to do it. They think they're going to do it. They think they're going to do it. That's big. And they, you know, okay, Alistair's not supposed to be there in this kind of invade, so they don't get deeper wards than this. And now this is the somewhat backfired because they didn't get to mirror what C9 just did. There's zero wards in that jungle because Fnatic were all stuck there trying to set a trap. It is up to Fnatic right now to at least secure. 체감상 3초 안 되는 것 같았는데 저는 체감상으로 재본 적은 없는데. 저는 한 2초, 1초 이 정도로 체감이 되더라고요. 2초, 2초 정도 맞다 2초. But look here for C9 because they're starting in their own jungle on the top side. Fnatic could do the same near their own blue buff here. So no invades yet, but sneak elimination. They're moving in. Fnatic are going to do the same on top side. These guys get spotted by a ward, but it looks like it's going to be enough to force Gragas. And Yasuo to run away, so Lemonation is being a little bit aggressive. Makes it a bit of a slow start. So, important thing about this ward is it means Fnatic could move away from Blue Buff and then try and sneak the Wolf Camp without being stopped. C9, though, are gonna check it. They see it happen. Fnatic gets that one and then back away. Same thing happening for C9, though. Completely mirrored the two teams. Yeah, Yellowstar gonna be harassing what he can. Hopefully they don't give him the ability to steal. That's not going to happen here. Ball's going to get level 2 off this. Difference though is C9 is getting two camps at that side and got zone off the blue buff. They may return. Fnatic had to only do one camp and move away. So C9 get potentially more experience if they can continuously keep on farming. And of course, both teams ending with four members on 
the strong side of the map for them where the AD carries are standing as well. Fast push happening on, on the top side. Should expect exactly the same for C9 on the bottom side. And then, look here, they've already sent back balls and elimination. They do this very, very often. Two guys going to the vent, but the problem is, two guys is not enough. Four men, four members can easily dive two, or you just zone them off the tower. You see a Fnatic is already moving down with three guys and Rainover is coming, so this should not work for C9. Yeah, and Draft just like yesterday, way. just like yesterday, when Lee Sin, is, or when High is on the other side of the map, that's when Balls needs him in the top lane. Again, he's not there to defend, and they will get zoned off. Very, very... Lazy almost lane swap for C9 in the same way. This is the same way. This is the same way. And then your jungle is on the opposite side. Right now, Huni could take the game. Not bad. 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 Darius will be more important to think about it. Let's get it down to half. And even still on both these waves right now, just to keep track and do some bookkeeping. All the waves are getting lost, but this will be a, the first turret kill very easily. Yeah, we, we've seen similar things play out over in Europe when Giants, for example, would try to defend against this European lane swap style, even with three members, and very often they would get zoned off and lose so much. So right now, Fnatic playing it out perfect. Bounce again here for Huni, so the wave will freeze. He won't be zoned off experience, and he can do with that wave whatever he wants. And a key thing is that reckless if you can focusing on stand up matching, and you can focus on leveling. But how do you match with him? Normally, it would be you give all to the AD carry. Oh, sorry, all to your top laner, and your AD carry only gets the average blade, and he's a lot weaker then compared to now with the pickaxe. Sneaky though, as always, gets solo experience and farm in these lanes of so he's going to be stronger than a level two saber and c9 has to use it and this is the funny thing though is this is one of the things that cloud is so good at is their actual pre-match like 1v0 preparation they've oh, how long it takes fanatic to kill this and they were able to still push but they should have already on the wrong spot here yellowstar and huni both going for the fight then naga comes through and a level one morgana forced to flash away maybe they didn't quite get the fight but they didn't quite get the fight ahead of the saber when that matchup finally does play out oh 11 11 is up so Oh, 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 oh. And they drop first spot here. High. Oh, oh. Why did I do it? Because we haven't seen high yet. So far, this match has only showed very, very good. Back into the jungle and hit himself. That was good by high. He dropped that ward, knowing the AD carry may go pathing into the lane. Balls teleported, but the play backfired due to poor execution. The balls get to freeze now. Based on how everything that happened, that we've now got a lane freeze set up for this top laner. But this is not the main thing. This is how Yasuo will kill it. This is the most important thing. He's getting behind. Very important for both teams. First of all, you just said it. Balls he gets the big wave. The Huni's on the bottom side. 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 You gotta hear it, you gotta hear it. Interesting to see, because if if that initial if that initial screw up didn't happen, C9 could have been vastly ahead of Fnatic here. Yeah. But Funi has been in the middle of the game for a long time, so here Lee Sin is not confirmed. 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 Lee Sin the only difference I would like to see in the C9 lane swap now that they do favor the farming experience on, on Sneaky is just keep balls to 2v2 jungle a bit longer with high because there's no reason for them to walk into that top. So, so, so far ahead, let's see what happens here though. Reno is coming in. Oh, Pitchy Jump! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, he doesn't have enough. Like, the kill comes through. Oh, he's coming in first. Hits the minion, but it was still enough to get the kill. Oh, oh, hi, Nim. Kangta, Tigum. Aka, Tiga, Kubaran, Sungan, Edition, the Bondo, Assassin, Chromian, and Tigum, Econa, Tigitas. So many small things, but 
그리고 저 누구야? 저 누구야? 볼즈가 라인 컨트롤 못한 탓도 있고 미니언을 적당히 써야 되는데 너무 많이 쌓아가지고 against nothing really because it's just big waves being pushed against each other so now he's rotating extremely late compared to elimination and he's not here to assist Febben before now well gets it down to half but the wave clear is good enough Febben gets back in the lane all is well this is something we've seen Cloud9 do every single game so far push up bot with Sneaky in a push and experience advantage rotate mid find an opening whether there's no wave clear there the wave clear is in place 잘안 미니까는 하이가 뒤쪽에 되게 타주고 있는 모습이고 generally prepare so well for their opponents and I almost think C9 is happy that teams ban Vega and not the Azir for incarnation because when you play Azir with this Nash's tooth fill the way you can instant shove waves in the early game so so quick 탑다이브 그라가스가 지금 가고 있거든요 후니가 이거 점멸로 피해야 돼요 이건 방금은 저 누구야 다리우스 쪽으로 갈 필요 없이 리신 쪽으로 붙으면 되는 거였거든요 그냥 저렇게 쉬운 거 못하네 근데 아니 안 죽어요 저거 무조건 사는 거였어요 무조건 사는 거예요 저 그러니까 다저 네, 야스오가 못해야 죽는 거예요 야스오 못해야 죽는 건데 못했어 네 진짜 쉬운 장면이었는데 이런 거는 그러니까 레이노버가 다이브 당할 거 알고 미리 가져온 것도 되게 좋았는데 탑에 먼저 또 도착 누가 먼저 도착하느냐 싸움인데 이신이 와주고 있죠. But with all those trips back down to mid lane, Rex is completely caught up on this server now, and it's a threat again. I will be happy to trade CS for taking that. 이, 이 경기 핵심은 야스오를 키울 수 있느냐 없느냐예요, 그냥. 아이고 아하 저런 실수를 어허 왜 이렇게 쉬운 실수를 하지? 아 대박 너무 쉬운 실수를 하는데 자, 전멸을 못 쓰고 3킬 주는 거는 문제가 있는 거죠 집중력 문제 그냥 집중력 문제 아까 인프도 그렇고 그 LGD 팀들도 그렇고 지금 프라이팅 프라이 알지? 레이노버랑 훈이지 정확히 말하면 이런 거는 이제 모르가나 미스콜을 안 했다라는 것도 있는 거고 자막을 뭐로 저기다 뿌려? 그렇다고 야스오가 CS 관리가 잘된 것도 아니고 집에 가세요 하는 건데 
but they don't really care about this vision coming in from Fnatic at the moment because they're just moving so easily between the lanes. It should be very predictable because whenever C9 is pushed out the bottom side and Sneaky goes missing, well, he's obviously running mid. B조는 누가 탈락해도 이상하지 않아요, 이제. Right now, they haven't really been able to use it. And it's just Febion sitting, trying his best to wave clear while Reckless is constantly sitting in the side lane, catching up or trying to catch up at least. Uh, right now, it's an 800 gold game. C9's lead, turrets equivalent. Dragons none taken, one kill up. What I do like about this game is that we haven't really seen an early dragon because it puts you so far behind in lane swap situations. They rather trade the potential time that it took them to do dragon to hit towers and create map pressure, open up the map, then get the vision, and then easily pick up. This is about the time they come out can actually start looking to pretty much gate a free dragon. <laughs> Uriana, <웃음> 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 Well, Fnatic is on the wrong side right now, so if C9 just yeah, is the tower for free, and there's nothing Fnatic can do, so they're getting the both. So, well, that's not really bad, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem, no problem. Fnatic is not getting the fight, Huni is just so far behind, they should be their dragon now. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. 지금 Yasuo is very weak, so Noda is weak, so let's try to get out of the way. They were just playing smarter, quicker, and better than the other teams, but right now, but they are going to be able to get it. Blue timing. Blue timing. Blue timing. As you mentioned, they did cash in the summoner teleport from Ball. So, yeah, if I could teleport for a turret and a dragon, I'd hit that on cooldown. Every single time. Oh, Tadius is not going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to Aliga, Chile, Because C9 is pushing all five are here in this ring. Hey, who's going to do it? 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 Who's going these should be some very destructive team fights in Cloud9 later on, especially once we start approaching Baron timing. Those baits will be punished very, very hard. There's a small benefit here for C9 after that bottom lane tier 2 turret goes down. Their outer is still up, which means C9 can actually push the wave even farther and often reduce the chance for Reckless to actually kill the outer turret as a trade for something else. C9's ability to push top lane with their AD carry is actually here. How does Fnatic really answer this? They need to force a favorable team fight with a good shockwave somewhere, but I don't think C9 will let that happen. I think you have to sacrifice your top tower and just hard engage in these three guys down the bottom side with teleport. Keep the advantage. And just try Here we and go. get that fight and the tower. He's TPing in now behind them, so they're going for it. <sighs> Jump really hard. Hmm? What? I'm trying to get some money. Yeah, TP is not there. Let's check it Oh, Teba. Game with Yuki, and that was the play to make for Fnatic. I got Kim Dong Jason, but I got beat down. Pandit Joyce Bucky. Okay. Yes, the tower will go down, but you get the bot tower as well, and two kills. Yellow, I go here with the kiss of the bone in it. Just die in the wrong spot, didn't pop his ulti. Again, this is similar to the other thing. Somehow, Incarnation shows up and gets two kills. Right now, he's zoning up three members, keeping four of them busy. Paul is walking away at the top tower. Lemon walks in and gets himself killed on this one. Four is not a good one. Kill him, boys. There we go. But every death. 
이게 탑이 밀리더라도 뭔가 하긴 했어야 했어요 근데 설렁 밀려도 뭔가 하긴 했어야 했는데 문제는 타워가 다섯 개가 너무 빨리 밀려가지고 이게 운영하는 데서 조금 부담이 가긴 하겠네 어 저게 씹히는구나 점프로 저렇게 그래도 이킬이 이어시 먹어가지고 돈을 어느 정도 따라 잡았네요. 제렉심은 야수 어차피 A little bit too early. They get the kills. They get a tower. But of course, because C9 could take two up on the top side, they're still going to be okay. I need to keep our eyes on Yellow Star too. He's usually the one to at least make a good play and engage. But so far, hasn't really showed up on that Yellow Star. See if he can finally get a flank somewhere and set up Huni for that combo. 네, 오늘 분석 영상을 좀 적게 만들려고요. 제가 오늘 목을 좀 아껴야 될것 같아서. 이거 하고 후랑 실지 하는 거 그거로 만들 거고 이거 통과 시킨단 말. 이제 반대로 다리우스가 테이퍼가 있고 야스가 없는 턴이기 때문에 선택을 해야 돼요. 용을 줄지. 지금 아래로 내려간다는 거는 강제로 한타 하겠다라는 거거든요. 이거 강제로 싸우자 이거는. 음? 이렇게 쉽게 줄건 아니었던 것 같은데 어 다리우스 다리우스가 너무 많이 맞았고 이거 타워 못깰 텐데 망하였어 음. 어 근데 그냥 둘 상황은 아니었던 것 같은데요 아무리 그래도 음, 알리가 뒤로 온거 감안해도 그냥 둘 상황은 아니었던 것 같아요 약간 엉거주춤 했어요 예. 망설이다가 
그렇지 어떻게 된 싸우러 잘할지가 보일지 정렬을 어? 오! 저게 사네 그라스가 가져왔고 자, 자 이거 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 궁궁 훈이 잘 참았네 네 훈이 잘 참았네요 이거 그 시나이 그냥 되게 부담스럽지 않아 이런 거? 왜못 먹을? 강타 싸움 간다 강타 싸움 간다 강타 싸움 간다 강타 강타 오스기 오다 잡았어 <웃음> 아 근데 아지리가 먹었어 <웃음> 바로는 또 <웃음> 바로는 또 아지리가 먹었어 <웃음> 아 대박 웃긴다 네 당연히 프라이팅이 많이 이득 본 거고요. 네, 프라이팅 이득 많이 받고 강타를 이렇게 못 쓰지? 방금 거리가 안 됐나? 다 일어났어 관중. <웃음> 거리가 됐었나? 완전히 살아났네요. 아, 저때 이미 체력이 저랬구나. 아, 아니네. 간단히 못 쓰... 제대로 못 썼네 그냥 <웃음> 강타를 못 썼어 제대로 못쓴 거야 저건 강... 아지란 트였어 강타 싸움을 <웃음> 네 그냥 못 먹은 거예요 그냥 <웃음> 야, 동체 시력이 안 좋나? 레이버가? 어, 어 볼즈 볼즈 괜히 앞으로 아 볼즈 저런 거 쓸데없는 뺑뺑이 돌면 안 돼요 잘 가시고 예 끝났네 예. 이제 볼즈가 뚜벅이로 저런 식으로 예 있으면 안 되지 훈이로 시작해서 훈이로 끝나는 게임 
even had that mid tower they could have gone for instead. Like it wasn't like there was nothing else to do on the map than go Baron before. We're gonna see another fight though. Elimination of Black Shield onto Bolt, but not really the right target. 이거 볼즈 완전 실책이지 이거는. 저기서 각질 필요 전혀 없었는데. Look where Sneaky is. In a lot of winning fights for Cloud9, Sneaky is always positioning at the edge, continuously dealing damage. This time he is zoned. He didn't hit a single target in that fight. So overall, C9 they were not on the same page. With this build here from Huni, again, as we just highlighted before, some of the cheaper components, so he kept being okay, at least, even though he was behind. Now he got that massive boost from some of the kills we've seen the last few minutes, so he's really getting towards his late game, where, of course, this Yasuo is going to be absolutely insane. And the same we can say for Febiven. Just sitting in that mid lane, going even at first with Incarnation and Farm, but the shockwaves in the team fights they're going to be key in the future for Fnatic, and he's obviously already sitting on three items as well. Yeah, both these mid laners actually scale fantastically. Two of the best scaling mid laners in the game, in my opinion. So, going late game, it is still anybody's game because later on, Azir can completely turn and fight around with the same way Oriana can. And being two of the best players here in the World Championship so far, both Incarnation and Fibberman had great games all across the board. Oh, TBC. I go. I got that. Just out of range, two ults popped. Barely made it out of that one. Barely. 차라리 이거는 시도해 볼수 있다고 생각을 하는 게 어차피 궁극 같이 오는 게 중요해가지고 별 상관 없는 것 같아요 지금은. 어차피 우리 하나 궁올 때까지 싸울 게 아니라서. 이 really like playing that style having a disengage or at least appealing support on Yellow Star very often favors Yellow Star used to play some Janna too just to keep people alive there it does have some weaknesses if it falls behind too early but there's always a comeback potential especially with Baron because it's so valuable for all these carries Faded well, all C9 in and Fnatic felt good about this one so 4000 gold now puts Fnatic squarely in the lead as we crest 30 minutes into this one a righteous glory now done on Yellow Star plus distortion boots, so a lot of flash combos, a lot of engage potential here for Fnatic. Of course, many of these members can set up for Huni's ultimates. And that's where these siege compositions really start falling apart when they can never get to group safely because there now are so many ways for Fnatic to start the fight. C9 then has to opt into basically what's gonna have to be the perfect team fight for them. The black ship elimination has to be the sneaky or inclination, whoever gets comboed from Fnatic, but there's enough AoE explosions yep. to hit both of them. Especially later on in the game, these fights don't happen that uh, that very often. So everybody has flash reel, and on Fnatic side, that's 승자승도 있나? 생각해 보니까 이거. Carry over to knock up with his flash too. So so many dashes and just flashes that C9 has to worry for, and they only have one flash. 지금 이제 둘다 만약에 Fnatic이면 둘다 이승 일패잖아요. 근데 Fnatic이 C9을 이기, 이기게 되잖아. 그러면은 Fnatic 1위가 되는 건가? 마지막에 이제 다 게임 끝났을 때네. Obviously reduce attack speed as well for both the Yasuo and for the Severe. So at least he's, he's also building just to be a frontline tank right now. The problem is just the Fnatic is always going to look to get to the backline instead of him. Oh, I guess Black Shield. Oh, oh but he's killed the tanker. He's killed the tanker. He's killed the tanker. Oh, 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 oh. He's got a flash over the wall. Balls can't get him. Oh, ah, jump. Ah, Sneaky, a little bit. A little bit scared. 조금 소심했다 스니키 과감하게 가지 갈 거면 그냥 근데 <웃음> 티타가 조금 겁났었어 점프 할때 네, 이거 훈이 갈 필요가 없죠. 건머시죠, 건머지 이거. 일단 비었으니까 간 건데 안 가도 됐지. 그냥 TP만 빠졌지. From Fnatic, but they spotted at the same time, so they're gonna be here ready to fight. Not a lot of flashes though on their side. Can't stop him. Hey, how many? How many? Whoa! Can't stop him. 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 Can
아 게임 아주 비벼져요 비벼져 아 강타에 되게 약하네 이거 레노브가 스미키가 뒷점프 해가지고 잘 살아남아가지고 궁극기가 딱 패스 어 완전 치열해 완전 치열해 How insanely hard they are to pull off when you're sitting in the heat of the moment, where Reckless is pushing down on the, uh, at the top side, and Fnatic is saying, you know what, we can buy time for you, and C9 is saying, you know, we can engage, we can look for that pick, and now after, C9 rushing to that Baron saying, this is the call we need to make to get back in the game, and there's so many insane calls, and they're so risky, a lot of them, but they're working so far at least. And it also tells you that shot calling just trumps individual play. A lot of these teams coming into worlds with very highly mechanically gifted players, proficient, you know, in, in terms of ranking, so you so so skilled at the raw elements of the game, but then they fall apart when it comes to macro play and C9. They've shown before what they can do in the map. Yellow Star now leading Fnatic through some really good rotations, getting a inhibitor right there, almost stealing that Baron too. Infinity Edge now done for Huni, so now all that's left to do is build Tanky to keep this man alive. Of course, on the other side, if you kind of start counting hard carries, Elimination finally has a Zeke's Harbinger done. Problem is, this Morgana is dying very quickly, and she can't buff Tristana very much if she's dead. So that is one thing to actually be a bit concerned about is Elimination's five deaths is a worrying trend for C9. And it does put Sneaky on 90% crit in these fights. That is, that is... If he gets it. If he gets it, which he can get easily. Zeke's Harbinger actually allows you to folks frontline for a little while once you engage you can jump in aggressively because there's not a single person maybe Fevern that can actually outrate you once you jump in with that 90% crit. Give me something to watch then if Sneaky can have the auto attack up time to kill whatever he wants. Blue Elixir picked up for Lemonation so he's gonna have some more damage in team fights. And a little bit of 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 a little did come from flanks, and as C9 pulls back into their base, it's incredibly hard for Fnatic to make that happen. That could be something they have to look out for, that they don't over-engage, because it's incredibly easy to play Morgana when all the enemies... Yasuo is actually a little bit more than that. ...a lot easier compared to having to watch multiple flanks, potential flash scenarios, just add so many variables to the equation. Still have to highlight there with this build from, from Elimination. It requires him to sit very far back to stay alive. You mentioned yourself just before here how he cannot be in the front because he needs to buff up Sneaky. So, the team fighting power of a Morgana when she can't go in with her ulti and hit multiple guys goes really far down and he just becomes basically this uh, black shield bot onto Sneaky. With his positioning so far, it's not been working because he has been caught out so many times and Fnatic honestly look for him as well because the black shield always goes on to one of the carries so you aim instead for, for the least and you aim maybe for the Morgana and take them down first. One black shield every nine seconds. Three stars, one carry is That black shield bot could be very efficient. Yeah, good coding on that black shield bot. We'll see if it holds up. Maybe from that it can decompile elimination and it gets a lot worse. Right now, Cloud9 trying to hold equal. Still a 4,000 gold difference. Means less over time, but we're still at a tricky part of this game. And there is an open inhibitor now. Fnatic can go towards and take that 5 on 5 team fight around it. They don't have to deal with the towers, but of course you always have to respect the fact that First of all, running back to the fountain and healing back up means you can rejoin the fight. And also, we can use the mid-mid skill. How to use it? Which, funny enough, is what Fnatic's composition. Some very important timing. I'm just going to get very deep inside. Better timing, but that's all. That can be tricky. So C9 should be. Because Oriana one comes next, it's already coming. Now, 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 now,
As impressive as the out rotation was for that inhibitor up top, they didn't really get too much value out of it. A couple out of colors fell that could have fallen otherwise too. But we had played the World Cup. It's such a game, actually. A good map move can negate that immediately. Cloud9 known for good map moves, but Fnatic have made plenty of good choices themselves in this game. Still sitting 14 to 8 in kills in favor of the Europeans. Hey, is basing. He may be looking for a teleport. If he picks up home guards, he could use one of those far away wards to flank potentially. Size not to base, sticks bot. And I doesn't want that very predictable engage, so he needs to probably sneak behind. Again, though, for Fnatic, you can just wait for that Baron. Clear that area because it's two dragons to choose. So there's no five dragons happening in this game, and that's too far out. No vision. He has been spotted. Yet. Oh, Alistar, why is he so far away? What's on the side of Fnatic around this Baron? Or to an inventory? They saw Huni. Let's see him for now. Huni's doing wolves. All right, now he's going to do Grom. And they see balls in the bot lane as well. They might square off easily. Baron in 50, Dragon in 55. Thanks to Dragon Scary without ward control, which right now C9 does not have at all on that Baron River. Their site's still nearly empty, only Lemonation has a ward at all. C9 is just trying to push Fnatic back so they can move into the Baron area themselves. 자, 일단 C9이 좋은 포지션 잡았어요. 되게 좋은 포지션. Fnatic's trying to avoid them moving in there, but because they can't... 용을 C9이 그냥 용 쪽에다가 제 생각에는 트리스타라만 보내가지고 용 먹게 하고 나머지는 대기치기 하고 하는 게 나을 것 같거든요, 저는. 지금 시야가 다 잡혀 있기 때문에 트리스타나만 그냥 용으로. 예, 다음 주에도 이렇게 할 거예요. 먼저 안돼 그러니까. 오우오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오오